You know, I should really back up these files so I don't lose a third one. Last time, we built this junior roller coaster, the merry-go-round and the twist. Also learned that this is the park I, yeah, the scenario challenge I struggle with the most. Pay for entry. And this time, we proceed to raise our park rating, the number of guests we have. I think we need a total of, oh wow, that's a lot of guests. 2,100. And instead of getting $70 from every guest through the course of the park, we get 10. I've not actually done this too much. We're going to try $15, see what happens. They are willing to pay $15. Good, let's keep it here. So, I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to build some benches. Oh, I haven't set my hotkeys on this. Usually I set my hotkeys to where uh, I can turn off all the turn off all the uh, annoying visual effects. So ride scenery. Oh, you can make paths see through now. That's really useful, actually. Except we don't want invisible paths. We are the ones decorating the paths at this moment. I don't see guests getting lost in here at all. Probably makes it a little more difficult to benchify everything, though. And by probably, I mean it does make it more difficult. But, you know, no problem. So, did a little bit of digging, and the website that originally hosted this is now offline, which is uh, a little problematic. As this is a great, uh, this is a great scenario pack. I have the files for it all. Maybe I should host them on Google Drive or something. Keep that little piece of uh, internet history alive somewhere. Let's see. Put these trash cans down. There we go. Now, what to build next? We could build. Could do a wild mouse. Wild mouse might be fun. Do we have any more thrill rides? Oh, we do have some more thrill rides too. And since we don't really care about how many people get on the rides, we can space these out some more. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a. Uh, Put a cinema here. Would this be good? No, that's the. Uh, cause I don't want it. Well, we could do it there. That's not going to take out the. Uh, good. That does not take out the aqueducts. Go ahead and use these uh, white footpaths here. And yes, we are going to take down this uh, well. And... Da, da, da. Hmm. Now, how are we going to take down this one wall right there? Can we just do that? Like a pro. Go ahead and open this thing up. Hmm. None of those really seem Roman enough. I guess uh, I guess there were mice in Roman. Er, there were mice in Roman. Good English. There were mice in Roman times. Got this, uh... Got the boat higher here. Nice little lake. This could be a good place to build a roller coaster in. Surprises in the beginner's park. But you know, no problem. We could build. We just build some road some go karts. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but there are just a just a billion these go kart tracks included with the. Uh, with the yeah, with the game. 
And we're gonna go ahead and build. That is insane right there. Also insanely expensive. I don't know what all these tracks are for. I know they're from the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Come with the uh, Steam version. I'm not sure why they do, but they do. They don't have good names or anything. But you know, whatever. Yeah, this this will work. Nice and long. Now we're going to get the station back a little bit. That should be good. What if it went through the what if it went through the city here? That would actually be pretty cool. You can call it like chariot races or something, even though it it's clearly carts and not chariots. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's start by going underground here. Dig down, dig up. Or Dig up. I wonder if dig's clearly not the correct word there. What would the correct word be? Raise land up? That just doesn't come off the tongue very easily, though. 1500 to work with. We can do this. Should we do cutaway view? I don't think that's going to help too much. No, this would not be the appropriate situation for cutaway view. What I want to do is I want to bring the carts through the city without destroying too much scenery. Hmm. We're going to get this. So maybe... I don't want... Maybe we shouldn't go through that building. We're going to come out a little bit. And take this turn here. Did I just take out a building? Hey, remember where I said I didn't want to take that out? Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, looks like we have some, uh... We have a handyman, right? A uh, good one handyman for the entire park. Spectacular. Okay, back to what, back to what we were at. Okay, well we made it there. Maybe we will just go underground again. Looks like we won't be destroying too much if we do it like that. Uh, we should have done one over. There we go. Most of that's actually inside the building. And that's not super noticeable. There's plenty of scenery there to block it. Now, we could have the carts go above the path. Like over that little strip right here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I might have to delete a path or two. Yeah, we're going to do that. Just got to get... I'm going to get that path out of here. Okay, now I just gotta maneuver around the city here without destroying too many pieces of uh, Roman architecture. We could just turn, yeah, let's go ahead and turn right here. Ooh, there's the aqueducts though. We'll go over there and out around. Glad to see all the flowers are dead.
going to... Yep, there we go. And... Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and take this off the path here. $206 to finish this with. We got this. Now we can go under the aqueduct. And we're out of cash. That's unfortunate. How's our park rating sitting? Guess, what are guests thinking? Oh, that's what they're doing, but what are they thinking? Decent oil is great, and the is great, great scenery. We've already got a park map. I want to go on some of those. I want to go home. I'm lost. Surprisingly, not too many guests are lost. Maybe we'll just take out a mound. Because as much as I like to pay back, ooh, 11% is actually kind of high. That's 11% of $6,000, though. Yeah, that's over 10 years. That's only 6000 And by within 10 years, we should hopefully have this scenario beaten. Now, do we want to go over the water here, or do we want to go, like, along the edge of the water? We're going to go around this little house here. Maybe we'll even decorate this uh, a little bit. Maybe not, but maybe we will. And we'll expand the station. There we go. Now the entrance should go at the beginning of the station. Then the exit at the end, so guests don't have to wait as long to get on. It's a, a pro tip I didn't follow at the beginning of the series. Because I was a stupid 7th grader recording YouTube videos. There we go. With uh, 21 cars. Now, uh we uh, turn on that yeah, we build a path to this ride it'll probably attract guests so uh, there's your obvious statement of the day there's just so much scenery in this park I mean it looks really good it's just a little difficult to build around without destroying it all making a lot of money in the process. <laughs> Go-kart lines have historically always been huge. I'm gonna destroy part of this guy's garden. One, two, and get rid of that fence. There we go. Look at that. That is how you integrate go-karts into the city without ruining the city. And we'll even put one of those there. That matches. All the flowers are dead. Now, the handyman of water on through the grass here, right? Right. Park rating is going up, so that's good. Now, the number of guests in the park is dependent on the number of rides you have in the park. So, if we want a lot of guests, we just gotta keep building. Which is something I don't have a problem with. Well, it might, but uh, I don't. Do any of these work? What? Why is this even a design? 11.20, 1.90? Nobody's gonna get on that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and build one of these right here. This should be fine. We'll just build until, uh, one, two, three, four. Good, build the entrance. Where's the footpath at? So I guess right here would be a good spot for that. 
Build out. Build over. Hook on to that. Let's see. What's the default launch at? Really low. It's probably a good thing to default set low. Let's... I wonder if doubling that's too much. 58. Oh, that's still really low on the tower. 65. We could do 74. Ooh, that is getting really close. It's gonna do 70. 6. 72. Because it might have a little more momentum when you have people on there. And we're gonna move the line this way. Yeah, that there is good. That there is good. Get rid of that fence. You guys, we got rid of the wrong fence. Get rid of that one. There we go. What's our ratings on this? Ooh, that's really intense, actually. Well, it's a ride. It's not too extreme. It's just close to being too extreme. Hmm. Why not? Why don't we just expand the line here? There we go. See, people are getting on here. Thereby bringing more guests into the park. And the challenge is, you can't have Andyman out here, so this beginning of the park is going to look nice and ugly with those flowers. Park's growing. Has, have we even had a ride of this yet? Nobody in the queue line. Four people on the ride. How are our concessions doing? We have lemonade, pizza, and a t-shirt stall. One restroom. Charged a appropriate amount. I'm gonna go ahead and build another... Do they have a Roman-style info, Kisco? T-shirt, pizza, lemonade... Nope. Now when you use a... Uh, use the uh, shift key to raise something it shows you what level you're at so you can see that you're a little too high see that you're too high here see what you're going to collide with Gonna make these ones dark olive green well, I'm glad to see the launch freefall is doing well you know it would be a good you know it attract a lot of people A log flume would. In a normal scenario, this whole area would be a terrible idea. I'm not sure how great it'll be for this kind of scenario, since you're not your income is not reliant on how compact rides are together. So guests keep your income is not reliant on how often guests are on rides, because in a normal scenario, this would gain no income. Plenty of building space over here. Some over here, though I want to try to bring guests to like all parts of the park. No, what if we had a log flume going around like just on the mountain here? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, except we don't have any funding. I guess rides have to garner more guests than they uh, cost. So you know, we're going to do some more gentle stuff. We're going to build a uh, ball play area. Whatever that is. Oh, I feel like that's going to take out the uh, aqueduct though. Dang it. It did. I should have trusted my gut. Can we rebuild that? Oh wow, you can, uh, that's not the right colors. Color it like that. No, oh, I didn't want to recolor that, I wanted to get the color from that. Uh, 
fight? Ooh, that's not working. Good enough. Good enough. I don't know how I'm going to, uh... A white water jet. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Steep waterfall. Aqueducts. Oh, here we are. Channel C corner. What if we got rid of that? It seems like this clearly is our greatest concern right now. Also, the water is the wrong color. But you know. No problem. Oh, that did it. Oh, and then we gotta we gotta actually rotate the scenery for the corners, okay. Delete that piece. And there we go. Look at that, we fixed it. It is beautiful. Let's uh let's fix the coloring here too. Clearly, that was our greatest concern when uh, we're trying to beat the scenario. Well, there's ball play area one. Somebody has to go to the bathroom. We should probably build some more of those. We'll build one over here to try to attract guests who need to use the restroom. Alright. Going to go this footpath. This time, we're not going to destroy our uh, integrity of the aqueduct. Oops, meant to destroy the fence. Let's go, go away, fence. There we go. Thereby allowing more guests into the park. And. So we built the go-karts, we built the ball play area, built uh, the cinema, and the free fall, and a lot of benches. Enterprises are, exp are expensive, though. Should we do a magic carpet? Next time. Next time. Okay. There's the park, and we kept the aqueduct system working. And our mega round has broken down. And with that, next time, we will earn some more cash, and we will build a log flume here. Probably, maybe, I might forget. You guys have a good one.